All right, vulnerability scanners. One of the most common vulnerability scanners out there is produced by a vendor called Tenable. Tenable has a vulnerability scanner called Nessus. Um, this is an open source vulnerability scanner. You all can go ahead and go to tenable.com and download a free seven day trial to Nessus, which is a vulnerability scanner. And what Nessus is going to do is scan your network or your computers or whatever target you have it pointed at, it will scan it for vulnerabilities. So we are going to create a new scan. And as you can see here, there are a bunch of scans that come with the free trial. What we're gonna do is create a host discovery scan and a host discovery scan is just going to scan our network for live host. So if there are computers on our network that are alive, this host discovery may and should be able to find them. But to speed things up, we are actually going to do a host discovery scan on our machine. You can see here is the IP config command line tool. Here is our IPv4 address. This looks different from the Linux terminal. It's a little bit more pretty. So we're going to take that. This is our target that we're going to scan for. There are other features in here that you can go and set up or configure, such as how you wanted this report to come out. But we're going to skip that. I'll leave that for you to go on and have fun with on your own time. So our host discovery scan has now been launched. It is currently running, as you can see here. We can go back to my scans. We see that the host discovery scan is still running. It has finished. That went by really quick because we were only scanning one target. Here's the IP address of the target. It has the fully qualified domain name, the FQDN. This is the fully qualified domain name of our target, the computer we just scanned. Here are some ports that it found open that it was able to detect. I can see some SMB ports here. And since it was just a host discovery scan, it wasn't a full blown vulnerability scan. It detected, well, the outputs are gonna show us what it detected and if we drill down into that output or into that vulnerability, Nessus was able to detect that our host is up using this IP address. So Nessus is just the vulnerability scanner. It can do so many things besides scanning for vulnerabilities. Here we just saw Nessus scan for host, for live host. Nessus is going to do something that we would do to check if a host was alive. It could send a ping, you know, Nessus will ping our host. If the host responds, then Nessus will report it as being alive. And that's probably what Nessus did here. Maybe it sent a ping, a quick ICMP ping, maybe an ARP ping, some type of ping. The host responded to it. Now, that was the host discovery scan. We ran a basic network vulnerability scan before we started recording this because it takes a little bit longer to run. The host discovery scan took less than a minute. This network scan right here on my right hand side took about nine minutes. So let's look at the vulnerabilities. As you can see, Nessus found a few vulnerabilities. This computer looks like it is pretty secure. Um, in most environments, you're gonna see a lot of mediums, a lot of highs. But we only see one medium here. This is the severity level. We only see one medium and a few infos, which is just information. They're not necessarily highly severe vulnerabilities. These are just, this is just information for us to be proactive about, okay? Um, and feel free to play with Nessus, have fun with it, download it, scan your computer, scan your environment for vulnerabilities. But this is what it looks like. It's free. It's a free day seven trial. We just saw two scans that we created. It was a host discovery scan and a basic network scan. 
The host discovery scan did a quick scan of live host and the basic network vulnerability scan did a basic vulner vulnerability scan of our target. Okay. All right. 